Hello, welcome back to our math skills lessons. Today, we are going to focus on the compass rose, which uses cardinal directions. Whoa, two really big words, compass rose and cardinal directions. Well, let's get started on those. The compass rose is simply this small part right here on our map. It is a circle shape. This one's actually more of an oval shape. And it has four letters on it. An N, an S, a W, and an E over on this side. And those four letters stand for four direction words. They are North, South, East, and West. Those are our directions. Now, sometimes, boys and girls, when we think of directions, we think of up and down. But if I went outside and I said go north, I can't look up because I'm going up into the sky, and I can't look down because I'd be going down into the ground. These are not up and down direct types of words. These are direction words that tell us which way we are going, north, south, east, or west. So let's use these on our map. Let's go down here to our lovely state of Florida that we live in right here. And let's look at the direction we would be traveling. So we're right over here about this point in Florida right here, okay? And north is pointing this direction. So if I travel north, if I get in my car with my family and I travel north, I'm going to enter into a new state right up here, the state of Georgia. I know some of you have been to that state because you've talked to me about it. So you have traveled north in a north direction to go to Georgia. Now the next direction I want to talk about is south. South is the bottom one right here. And if I go into a south direction. Here I am in Florida. I'm going to go, whoop, look, right down here into the water. That's to the south of Florida. And you might already be noticing, well, Mrs. Jarvis, there's water all around Florida. You're right. Other than to the north, Florida is surrounded by water in all the other directions, including to the south. So let's talk about if we are here and we travel east. Let's travel east. We're gonna go this direction over here and we're gonna get to this body of water, which happens to be the Atlantic Ocean. Over here is the east coast of Florida. Have you ever visited the east coast of Florida and gone into the water at the Atlantic Ocean? The waves tend to get a little bit bigger over there the more north that you go. And this is the east direction. Then we are already, we live on what's called the west coast of Florida because we are right here. We're on the edge of where the land and the water meets, and that is the west coast. So if we leave our home, get in our car, and travel west, we're going to be right into the Gulf of Mexico. That's this water right here. This water that is on, to, on the west side of Florida is called the Gulf of Mexico. So that is the water to the east. You may be familiar with um, some other states within the United States. And if you are, you might wanna go ahead and pause this video, find that state and figure out what is to the north of it, what's to the south of it, what's to the east of it, what's to the west of it. Go ahead and take some time to discover those things. Then you can come back and join us when you're ready. We're going to talk about if the yellow is all of the United States, we're going to talk about what is to the north, south, east, and west of the United States. So here is our United States, our country. And if we travel to the north of it, we are coming up here into this green area and it is another country called Canada. This is the country of Canada. It is to the north of the United States. 
Then if I am in the United States and I travel south, I'm going to go into one of two areas. I'm either going to go into the Gulf of Mexico or I'm going to go into Mexico. Mexico is another country, like the United States of America is a country and Canada is a country. Mexico is a country. So if I travel south on this side of the United States, I will go into Mexico. If I travel south on this side of the United States, I go into the Gulf of Mexico, which is the water area right next to the country of Mexico. So if I travel, if I'm in the United States, and I travel east. I am going to go, oh, there we are, back to that Atlantic Ocean again. All of this water over here to the east of the United States is the Atlantic Ocean. There it is over there. And then if I'm in my car and I travel west across the United States, I'm going to come to a different ocean over here on the west coast of the United States. Its name is right down here. It is the Pacific Ocean. So on the west coast of the United States, you would go into the Pacific Ocean. So we have discovered what is to the north, south, east, and west of the United States. Now parents, at school, I would have the students go ahead and make a compass rose using a paper plate um, for the cardinal directions. Here at home, to show the cardinal directions, here at home, I happen to not have all the supplies that I need. So what you need is a paper plate. You label it with the north, south, east, and west. And I pop a hole into the middle, and I happen to use a pipe cleaner there, and I just kind of pop the pipe cleaner through and then bend it to hold it in place, and then the pipe cleaner can go around and around. Those happen to be at school, not here at home, so I can't do it. Another thing that I have used is a brad, a paper fastener, and you pop it through, and it can hold a piece of paper in place that looks like an arrow that can spin around, and you know the brad comes through on the other side and stretches out. I also have those at school, not here at home. But if you happen to have those supplies and you want to make a compass rose, that you can use to help do the next activity at home, feel free to go ahead and do that. Now, I have found an awesome video on YouTube that I would really like for you to explore together as a family. It's just about a two and a half minute to three minute video, and it's called Best Cardinal Directions Video, Interesting Hands-On Hands -on Activity. So in that video, a boy is going to tell you, an animated boy is going to tell you about the cardinal directions he learned at school and an activity that he did with his teacher. And he is going to tell you that his teacher, when they went outside, they had trouble understanding north, south, east, and west. And so the teacher had them draw a picture of their school. Now, we can't do that this activity at school because we're not at school right now, but you could do it at your home too. So in the middle of a piece of paper, you can draw a picture of your house. And then she had them label the N for north, the S for south, the E for east, and the W for rest on the piece of paper. And then she had them find the direction of north and draw on here something that is to the north of their school. So you can find where north is for your house. You're gonna need your parents' help for that most likely to figure out which direction when you go outside of your house is north, which direction is south, east, and west, okay? So find that direction with your parents' help and then show me what is something that is to the north of your house. Draw it on the paper. What is something that is to the south of your house? Draw it on the paper. What is something that is to the east of your house? Draw it on your paper. What is something that is to the west of your house? Draw it on your paper. Then you kind of have a little map of your house in your neighborhood showing where you are and what is to the north, south, east, and west of your home. Parents, I will put the link to that video into the description of this lesson and I will send it to you on Class Dojo as well. The last thing that's just for fun, I found a Cardinal Direction song. So again, if you search on YouTube, Cardinal Direction song, there's a fun little song that pops up, north, south, east, and west. 
believe me, it gets stuck in your head super, super fast. So I'm sorry, parents, but it is a fun song just to learn those cardinal direction words and to just memorize them more or less is what that one's for. It's more just for fun, but I will send you the link to that one as well so you can just enjoy a little bit of fun. Have a great time discovering the cardinal directions around your house and what is to the north, south, east, and west to make a little map of your neighborhood. I hope you enjoy. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.